Ever since, you know, the rivers have started to go down, I have noticed a surge in people. Been a lot more equipment out here that I haven't seen before. A lot more people just little laying out in the river because you can get all the way through, all the way at the bottom. All right. So what we've seen has been about a 10% increase in customers that have never gone prospecting before but are interested because the water levels are so low. And then once they get out there, they realize that they're able to get into areas that people haven't been able to get into for, you know, five, six years since the moratorium on dredging was placed. One time, one and one and one and the other. This pan right here. The idea came up to go boat panning one day and my son was all over it, so here we are. It's in there that we don't have eggs. See, I'm gonna help you out. You just need to go where he goes. And we probably have about $200 invested yeah. into our equipment. You could start with just a shovel and a pan, that's all you really need. After you're done, you run your dirt through your sluice box, you get all your heavy concentrates, your black sand and your gold, you pour that into your pan and you just sit there for however long it takes you to go through all the little bits of gravel and black sand to see if you get lucky enough to find anything two, down in there. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I just keep repeating this. Off the end. Anyway. And then so shape one, two, three. Okay, side to side. Alex, my son here, is definitely the one who's got the bug. He wants to get out there and do it. If he wants to go out today and it's raining, I'm not going out today. There were 46 days in 1884 without rain, and we broke a record. We're at 50, up until today, we're at 54 days without rain. A buddy of mine, he, uh, he grew up with his dad doing it, and I just went out with him one day, and I just enjoy it. It's good, like I say, it's good exercise. They'll still be there the next time. I've been doing it about six months, and I got into it because Todd, my neighbor, is an enthusiast, and he's been doing it for four or five years. I wouldn't be out here if it weren't for him. Yeah, you see that little piece right there? The biggest misconception is that you're going to get rich. <laughs> Um, you're guaranteed if you go out there, you're going to find some gold. Yeah, look at all that money. <laughs> I don't sell that gold at all. I just keep it, stare at it, and when I need a little inspiration, shake it and look at it. I'm not doing this to go make money from gold. So it, it's a family activity, gets the boys outside. You know. I don't know. I've never weighed my gold, so I don't know what it takes to make like a penny weight. They go by penny weights, and I think we might be in a good spot down there. We got about maybe five times that much in three days out here one time. So, but again, it's maybe 35 bucks. You know, it's not not big money. You're not going to get rich. I'm guessing that's five dollars worth. Oh, that's looking pretty darn. I'm ready to go back. <laughs>